Bafika ngeli 15 ka April yikse ngaspange lana pat five o'clock sikuela itrain basi peke panga sits out sort of a line itarud up next to kapa stala ko nazi track as niche in the same terms the sibuya mumva ngo siye kupange asi sibuya ke mumva basi ben target hamna ama police ama ama chuni and far we fenya ama chuni. The residents received no warning and force was used with those who did not cooperate. The people from Clipfontaine who were being moved to Glenmore were being forced to agree on forms, even to the point of having their thumbs pushed down onto the paper by government officials. On arrival at Glenmore, there was little food. The tomato box houses were inadequate and disease was rife. In the early 1980s, the settlement of Glenmore was relocated up the hill to avoid the uninhabitable land on the banks of the Fish River. The <laughs> While Glenmore has some functioning civic communities, the prospects for employment remain bleak. After years of seeking assistance with development from government, community activist Ben Mafani decided to take matters into his own hands, and over the past four years, he has committed three acts of protest at the Gramstown High Court. In 2007, he arrived at the High Court, armed with a symbolically decorated brick, and proceeded to break a window. At the Gramstown Police Station, Mafani was charged with malicious damage to property and later appeared in the regional court and was sentenced to a 2,000 rand fine or 12 months imprisonment, wholly suspended. Mafani achieved his aim of drawing public attention to his cause. What Ben really hoped to achieve by doing what he did was that uh, the, the publicity uh, which the event itself received, that was when, when he broke the windows at the court, uh, and then the, the, the publicity that came out of the case itself, and the co media coverage that was given to the case, uh, that the authorities would be spurred by that into giving attention to the Glenmore problem. After the 1994 democratic elections, the new government instituted a policy of land reform to reinstate the land rights of those who were forcibly removed during apartheid. Today, 14 years into the new South Africa, many of the people who were displaced during apartheid have been left out of the land restitution process. Nasa's Wiley Senior Squads, who's Mamela Kaku, says, Ongas and Fundis, or Yo Yogoti, Massitas of Niclaimer, Siclaim and Janina. So, he loaned to Mobangelo Bangela Tina, a peclen, is named